factory. Hi YouTube, today I'm going to do a product review on the Rubbermaid Big Mac 4x6 storage shed. Here is the product um, Home Depot's website currently selling for $6.29. Uh, the box weighs about 200 pounds and it's slightly over 6 feet so you need to have some twine uh, when you're um, uh, shipping it. Okay, so let's open the box and see what's inside. Here's what's inside the box. You have uh, these clips, um, various wall and ceiling panels, a floorboard. Uh, now I'm going to show you how to install this. For the site preparation, make sure you have space 55 and quarter inch wide and 75 and half inch deep. This is how it looks like. I already measured it, so this is the correct size. I have some gravel dirt and then I put this uh, pad um, because it provides additional uh, support filling the, the air gaps uh, between the board and the gravel. Make sure uh, everything is level and then once you verify it's uh, level, you can start doing the assembly. Now we have to connect the floor panels. Um, these are screw holes that we need to pop it out. Use a screwdriver and rubber mallet to punch the hole. As you can see, now we have a hole exposed where we can screw in and repeat for the uh, both of the floor panels. You don't have to use a rubber mallet, you can just poke it with a screwdriver. Now lay out the floor panels. Uh, once you have aligned, now you can screw in. These are self-tapping screws. You don't need to drill holes. Simply just screw them on. Make sure the panels are aligned. Once you have the floor panel installed, the next step is we can start install the walls. There are three left, three right, and then two in the back. So the letter code is G, C, C, D, F, E, E, H. As you can see, I suggest lay them out uh, and then uh, use another person help to hold it upright and um, put this uh, uh, in into these uh, socket. The corner pieces goes in first. First place a C. Uh, use a stick to make it uh, upright and then use a ladder place a D, latch it over to C on this corner. So you can see um, this is latched um, because uh, when you put it in, um, this piece that comes out flies through the slot and um, then you push it down and then become latched. Uh, in the bottom, um, this is how it looks like. Uh, you have these um, pieces extends out that latch into this uh, hole. Okay, now just repeat for the other side of walls. On the right side, um, same thing, um, put the E panel first. Uh, after you hear a click, uh, then you can uh, hold it upright. Then um, put the F piece uh, and latch it. Uh, make sure all the slot uh, is latched. There's a total of one, two, three, four, four slots. Make sure uh, this is engaged. Now we can install the wall connectors after you put the back side. Uh, this is uh, connecting the two rear pieces, D and F. Simply uh, take your wall connector and slide it through these slots. Very easy to do. Another one. Slide it down. Okay, this is solid. So a total of five wall connectors needs to be installed. 
Now after you get all the walls up, install all the uh, wall connectors, the next step is to install the roof. There are three pieces, um, M, M, and J. The J is going outside toward the door. So let's put this up. Now simply just lift the roof um, over the wall and you can see these latches, um, these rails, and you just snap it on uh, tight. And then we're gonna install the roof bracket and screw it down and lock it tight with screws. So make sure everything is lined and then snap it into place. As you can see now, um, there's almost very little gap. Okay, now we install the roof bracket. Lift up a little bit, create a little bit opening and then place the roof bracket over the hole. Uh, same on the side. Make sure this is outside. This is how it looks. Make sure. Now repeat on the two other roof panels. Now we have to install the roof uh, latch. Simply is a pin, looks like this, L-shaped. Simply just slide it through um, like that. And same thing here, you can see this is a, a hole, this is one panel uh, M, this is another panel M, uh, and we need to connect these two panels with the, uh, with the pin. This is how it looks like, there's a total of eight of them, um, four on each side. So simply just slide it through. And if, if something is blocking it, you can use a tool It come with the package uh, to pull, this, pull the other panel down. And then you can easily uh, slide it. So use this tool to pull this one down and then now you can slide it. Uh, I did this in the wrong way. What we need to do is to insert um, from the door side toward the end. And then we can turn it and latch the pin, the roof pin, to, to this slot here. Now it's locked in place. So this one I installed in the wrong orientation. Now I need to simply easy just pull it out and slide it through the other end. <coughs> okay, I cannot slide it through because this one is slightly uh, higher. So now I can use this tool to adjust alignment a little bit and then I can slide it and twist it latch it into place yeah. one more time Push it up a little bit so it fits through this hole and turn it to lock it into place. Now we have to install these screws that connect the side panel to the roof through the roofing bracket. Uh, if everything is aligned, simply you can just uh, put the screw in. Use the electric drill to Yeah, it's tight, locked in place, so this is good. Make sure everything fits. Onto the last steps. Now it's to install the door. 
simply just fit it through the door through the slot on the top and also on the bottom adjust it so that it latch it into this in place slide it through the top first snap it into place at the bottom excellent you should hear a click now it's locked into place last step putting on the door handle Okay, pretty much finished. The only thing I did not do is to attach the wall anchor. Uh, I could do that later, but for now, everything looks solid. Uh, let's check the alignment final result. Okay. Everything looks good. Wall's pretty solid. Door fits, no any major misalignment issue. Let's check the insides for the level. Great, everything is pretty much level. All right. To make sure the wall doesn't move, I'm going to drill a hole at this space and insert a screw to lock it uh, the wall to the base and repeat at every corner Everything should be locked in place. Final look. Everything installed. Walls are solid. Roof stable. And the door open, close effortlessly and no any uh, misalignment issues. So I would say this is definitely a good buy. Uh, say much. Uh, uh, it's much easier than build a shed by yourself using wood 2x4s. It's a solid buy in my opinion. Um, you will have extra storage space for your lawnmower, uh, all your gardening equipment. Um, pr protect it from the weather. So everything looks great. Again, robber made. 5L30 7T54. Um, outdoor shed. Thank you for watching.